because that gave me a whole new perspective on the way I look at things, on the persons I interact with, on the persons I want to interact with, on the places I want to go, the people I want to meet, the things I want to do in life in general. Because that helped me along, even with the advisors when you have a baby. They ask you if you're able, if you, you're sure you want to do four courses, you're able. They care about you personally. They want you to survive. They want you to, to excel. In Costat, um, a student is known by name. The class sizes are small. We know our people. Our people put, push their heads around the door and we can call a name, David. And I call the name David because that's one of our students who actually came to me probably in 2010 with a GPA of about 1.35. And I looked at him and I said, uh-uh, this isn't going to work. But last year, David graduated with his bachelor's with 2.97 GPA after turning it around. If I didn't understand something, I, I used to go and talk to them. And I keep on talking to them and they would explain to me. They'd like, say, okay, come. And you know, they'd sit and explain to them and tell me how it would go. And I really appreciated that. are known to pioneer and we are known to be innovative and we are most especially known to be tenacious in the belief that we have been called a very noble purpose. Our issues in terms of poverty, crime and other social ills suggest that we have much to do to reassure our citizens that education is the path to improvement and development. And I make bold to see that there is no institution better positioned to do that than Costat. I started in my late 20s and uh, I came here with really specific reasons, for, with a really specific goal in mind, which was to learn, get my degree and, and do it with as, as high a GPA as I can. You have small classes in which you can interact with your lecturer on a one-on-one -on -one basis all the time and um, you get really pos like positive, negative, critical feedback on your work. As an educator, we actually hold the dreams of the students in the palm of our hands and it is, it is a tremendously powerful thing and also a very intimidating thought because you're thinking to yourself, what if I botch this up? I had the pieces of the puzzle, but to place them was a challenge. And Custard helped me place the pieces of those puzzles. Let me explain to you. I am a Rastafari Empress and human relations, it improved that. Not everybody can be a classic scholar. Not everybody can succeed in, you know, in, in pure mathematics. But anybody should have, and everybody should have the right to get a decent job. And these days, in order to get a decent job, you need a good education. It was very scary thinking about being in your 40s and going in to Costat and there were these bright 18, 19 year olds. I mean, when I did my first degree, many of them weren't even born. You know, I found out that. I was like, oh my God, what am I doing here? But they also kind of helped me the way I helped them. I was like the big sister many times. I would like take charge because I used to tell them there's no way I'm putting my degree, uh, my grades in a 17 year old hand. You know, I took control. We do have a uh a rich, um, diversified kind of population, student population, and that is because of the access. You have mature students mixing with the young students, mixing with the very young students, and the socioeconomic as well, um, because you have working students and you have the students who are not working, and you find that we tend to mix them as well if they're in group projects so that you know the, the employed one is going to help the one that is not employed you know and simple things like that happen and they build relationships through it. When I'm in a class and I speak students talk and you know you'd have to talk and you're like oh wow how you know that they say well you know I've been here on this earth a long time you do a lot of research you know a lot of things you all need to read so I think having the older students there they still realize the value of research 
And I'm not talking about research just to get a degree, but just for your own knowledge. When I came to Costat, I felt like this is, the, this is what I know and this is what I thought was going to happen. And it was completely different. I have met people in different courses and I'm still friends with them today. We all helped each other out to be better, to get the best grades. And it was strange because you've gone from life away in university to a college campus in Trinidad and Tobago and everybody just really wants to be, as a group, the best. It's not individuality. And that for me was refreshing to be in Costat in Trinidad. It wasn't something I expected. This is where opportunity is created. And this is where we really open the door to students, the persons seeking opportunities, seeking access to education. I am the only person within my immediate family that attended college, obtained an associate, a bachelor's, and now completing a master's degree. Costat did is that it allowed the opportunity for people who may not have done A-levels or who may not have wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, to have an opportunity to have careers in other areas. I was looking for something that was not only academic but also practical and Costat offered that because they have internships, they have classroom activities and things like that so it's not just you just learning theories. They're actually learning how to practice it and put it into application in the real world. Every government has been guilty of underestimating the benefit of an institution like this so that programs are tailored to suit both the needs of the students who need a job and, and need to earn a living and need to be exposed to the practical side of the industry while they're also studying the, the, the theoretical side. I think the people of Trinidad and Tobago um, would be greatly disadvantaged without Costat. Because if you look at our education system in Trinidad and Tobago, it caters for those who are at a certain level, who come from a certain background, who have the support system that's necessary, and they will survive within our system, they will get the necessary qualifications. Unfortunately, that's the minority, not the majority. But we owe the majority of our people an opportunity to arrive at whatever their potential is. You have to have a hands-on with the client or the patient. And you have to have the knowledge, you have to have the, 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 the principle how to go about taking care of the patient. And those two combined did a lot. In Costat, we have always understood how important we need to do things differently. It's not about um, doing the thing the, the same way over and over again. And we want to provide opportunities for students to be able to do so, so that when they actually leave us, they are market ready. say Costat is the entrepreneurship university. Entrepreneurship has always been part of the way Costat has been training its people to prepare people to be able to do things for themselves. Costat must see itself as a light, as a beam where people will be guided to and from which people will emanate to take their places in our society. Right now I am going into the tourist business and I've learned from entrepreneurship, how to manage a business. Our students are heavily involved in internships and clinicals. At the end of the day, when you talk to some of our students, students actually are graduates of UWE who say I'm coming back to Costat to learn how to do. I've been in UWE, I've done up to my master's in UWE. 
and I, I, it, it, it doesn't fit for me anymore, you know. I want people to see that what Costa can offer others, it can offer anybody. Costa remains the credible option for the associate degree programs. And while the college offers some bachelor degree programs, it, its real focus is on the community college type activity. Being a community college makes it more practical. It's not just academic. You learn actual skills, you know? And Costat is a sort of a place where I think that one of the best things that you could do would be not to just enroll in a whole program, but just take individual courses. Take those kind of individual courses that would add to what you're doing, add to your skill set. What brought about the change in my life is expectation. People expected me at both, from both, from both sides, negatively and positively, right? The negative ones would expect me not to make it, not to, you know, to end up going big jail or become a, a, um, a career cr criminal, right? But that changed. I wanted to do criminal justice because, because the fact that I was in the system, right? I believe that it would have helped me to understand, to understand people, people who, who in that criminal realm, right? Or juvenile, it would help me understand better, right? Start is really about bridging that gap in terms of widening the net of tertiary education and bringing in some people who would have been left on the margins or outside the net, getting them in and getting them to a point where they can achieve that level of tertiary education. Before I came into Costart, I, you know, I wasn't really the guy who would go in front of class and present, but I guess there's, um, these classes forced me, right? To, uh, forced me to, well, okay, well, you know, in the real world, I can't really just, you know, keep everything to myself, right? I need to interact with people, I need to improve my soft skills. Up to this day, I'm still working on it because I recognize that being able to present is a very important skill, especially like um, when you want to open your own business and you need to talk to your clients and stuff like that. So being able to converse with all of people is definitely a very important skill, right? We are not a competitor to you, we are UTT. We play a unique role. You and UTT are not designed and geared to play that role. We are not de designed and geared to offer PhDs, but we can get you from having one O level, no O levels, two O levels, on a path that you can go on to become whatever you want to become. Once we offer that opportunity and we offer programs that are not the same as other institutions and that could add value to the country, we will always remain relevant. I'm just completing my master's degree in entrepreneurial management and Costa equipped me with the writing skills, in fact, more skills to do this degree. I, I have no problem with my kids attending Costa whatsoever. No problem at all, at all, at all. Like I said, their, their lives are already planned. So from the moment they finish secondary school, Costa. You could see I get a little emotional because I get emotional about the things that I've been passionate about. One of the things that <clears throat> is the most important to me is the students that we have who have never had opportunities in life. And they come here and things change for them. I think of Choi, and I use Choi as my example very often. Choi was born in, in Chabonas. He's not doing nothing with his life and one of his neighbors was going to cost that and gave him a phone and he applied but at that point in his life he was a young person who couldn't care less he came here and his life changed and he wrote us an email and he said 
here I am, a boy from Edinburgh, managing a million dollar budget in a ministry. He never thought that could happen for him. That's what we are about, changing lives. Thank you.